up this countdown, we have City Siren Head. This photo was actually sent in by a fan of ours, Adam Blinov. I'm so sorry, I hope I pronounced your name right. And his son. So thank you so much for this one. And if you have any Siren Head settings of your own, you can always send them to me on Instagram or to Most Amazing. So let's take a look at this photo. It's a nice photo of Toronto. You got people out playing at the park, beautiful trees, clear skies, and what's that siren head? Look at that dude. Thankfully, he's not taller than the CN Tower or else I would have been more worried. And the fact that he's in Toronto worries me. I thought I was safe living here. Come on, siren head, go home, get out of the city. Also, imagine being a worker at one of those buildings and looking over to see siren head just like looking in like, hey. No, that'd be terrifying. I'd call in sick for the rest of the month. In our ninth spot, we have the drone footage. Remember when drones were all the rage? Are they still in? Do people still use those? Who knows? But one thing I know for sure is that they can be used to capture evidence of Siren Head. So this next individual claims that they were out flying their drone, having a good time, and everything was good. Until they reviewed the footage later that day. So the footage started off normal, the drone was flying over some trees, then all of a sudden the feed began to go all fuzzy. When it resumed, just at the corner of the screen, you could see something that looked exactly like Siren Head's speaker head. Maybe Siren Head's sound or frequencies somehow managed to interrupt the drone feed, but he wasn't too sly because this dude still managed to catch a split second of him on video. Unfortunately, his drone broke shortly after, so the evidence is lost forever. I bet Siren Head broke that drone. Didn't capture his best angle or whatever. Coming in at number 8, we have the vacation. So back in the day when going on a vacation was a thing, and not a death wish, a group of travelers claimed they might have seen Siren Head from their airplane. So they were preparing for their descent, admiring the beautiful landscape below them when they saw something shifting in the trees. At first they thought maybe it was just the breeze. But it was odd because it was only a section of trees that seemed to be moving violently. That's when all of a sudden they saw a branch like arm reach up and snatch a bird off of a limb from the tree. Now, they were high up in the air, so they don't know if it was maybe just a branch swinging in the wind or something else, but they could have sworn that that branch looked like a veiny arm belonging to none other than Siren Head. In our seventh spot, we have Daddy Long Arms. <laughs> Got it, Daddy Long Legs, Daddy Long Arms. Imagine going out for a late night stroll only to look back and see Siren Head stalking you. That would be terrifying. This is apparently what happened to the person that took this photo. First off, since when are Siren Head's arms that long? Like, yeah, I knew they were long, but that long? Like the dude scraping the floor with his fingernails. Also, he's looking kind of short in this one. Maybe he's just like a siren head baby. Like come on, the inconsistencies in height are freaky because it could quite possibly mean that there are tons of siren heads out there, all in different shapes and sizes. But we are inclusive on this channel. We love all people or creatures regardless of their body shape. Making our way down the list to number six, we have the blur. This photo was posted on Reddit by the user Squish the Whale. Interesting name. Let's not squish whales. They posted this photo with the caption, Possible Siren Head Sighting Near Basingstoke, UK. Now, I don't know what to think of this photo. It's creepy because you can't tell what it is. On one hand, it looks like Siren Head, but then it also looks like some sort of pixie or something. Either way, it does not look friendly and it's not something I would ever want to encounter. Looks like this user got the photo of it quick, hence why the figure is blurry and in motion. But let me know what you think of this photo in the comments below. What do you think this creature looks like? It's like one of those ink blot tests. What does this look like to you? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the campers. So if you want to possibly run into Siren Head for whatever reason, maybe you're a paranormal researcher or maybe you have a death wish, I don't know. But if you want to see him, all you have to do is go camping. Yep, you heard me. Grab a friend or go alone if you really want to die. Head out to a secluded wooded area and stay the night. Because after doing these videos, I've realized that tons of people have spotted Siren Head while camping, including this next individual. So story goes that a guy and his friend were out camping for the long weekend. However, in the middle of the night, they felt the ground shake beneath them, which woke them up. That's when they started hearing a tornado warning siren. Panicked that a tornado was coming their way, they began to pack up camp. 
That's when the siren stopped. The sound was replaced by a creepy sound of a little girl giggling. Thinking that someone was messing with them, they told them to, you know, get out of there. But obviously, they said it in a different manner involving several profanities. So, whatever, they went back to sleep. The next morning, when they woke up, they had a massive headache. They also noticed that they were in a different section in the woods, as if while they were sleeping, someone dragged their tent to a different area. That is creepy. To this day, they think that Siren Head was playing mind games with them. In our fourth spot, we have the forest. This next photo is pretty creepy. So, it was posted on Reddit by the user, the only only one savage. Here's the thing. He posted it claiming Siren Head was in the photo, but no one could locate him. So he re-uploaded it several days later, this time with a red arrow pointing out Siren Head's location. The photo itself is beautifully creepy. Then you look in the background and you can see the thin outline of Siren Head's body. There he is just lurking behind some trees, waiting for his chance to jump out and snatch his next victim. This dude's lucky that he got away unharmed. It could have ended a lot worse. Coming in at number 3, we have the cottage trip. So this next individual was at his cottage up north in Canada. Uh, you know, relaxing, doing typical cottage things, swimming in the lake, fishing, you know. Well, he was on his dock one afternoon with his dog when all of a sudden his dog started to whine like crazy. Shortly after, the guy got a massive headache. Obviously, something was bothering them both. No matter what he did, his dog wouldn't calm down. That's when he realized that someone was probably emitting a frequency so high pitched that the human ear couldn't detect it, but his dog could. They both went inside and he closed all the windows and doors and the dog calmed down. Upon researching what could have caused it, the guy stumbled upon Siren Head. Turns out that the day before, he saw a weird pole on his neighbor's lawn with sirens at the top of it. He thought maybe it was just like a new gadget they had. No. He put two and two together, it was Siren Head. In our second spot, we have the 1900s. Like I've mentioned before, Siren Head has apparently been around for much longer than we realized. And this next photo proves it. So this next individual was going through their city's archives when they came across an old black and white photo from the 1900s. And lo and behold, in the background of the photo is Siren Head. And might I add, he's pretty photogenic, like he's looking pretty good. But also, that's pretty creepy. Look at him just standing there. I bet he thought that he was doing a good job camouflaging in with those trees. Nope. We can see you loud and clear, buddy. Nice try. And in our number one spot, we have the Washington Monument. Okay, so this next photo of Siren Head really tripped me out. In my opinion, it's the most realistic one out there. At first, when I saw this image, I was like, oh, you know, that's a beautiful sunset. Then I noticed something odd in the background. Far, far in the background. Look carefully. Right in the back, behind some trees in the horizon, is Siren Head. So Siren Head is just like me and you. He also likes sunsets. But seriously, it took me a while to spot him. Maybe it's just a street light, but it looks a lot like Siren Head to me. Coming in at number nine is the Tornado Siren. This encounter was shared by Reddit user Ubisoft is awful, who said their friends decided to go walking in the forest of the area they lived in, because apparently people just like doing stupid shit. The group was full of skeptics, none of them believed in anything supernatural, let alone Siren Head related, so they had no fear. A few hours passed and the group saw nothing, but out of nowhere, one of the friends called Jake said, did you hear that? The user said no, but Caleb, another friend, agreed that he had heard something as well. And then it finally hit the user. It sounded like a tornado siren coming from really far away, and it freaked out the group so much that they decided to leave the woods. The more they walked, the louder the siren got, and eventually the siren sounded became shrill screams. It was night at this point and none of the kids had any signal on their phones, so aka they were screwed. Now they were close to being out of the woods, but obviously the story wasn't going to end in unhappily ever after. They never do. The group then saw this gigantic creature with huge swinging limbs and sirens in place of its head. The group started running, but the sounds were only getting louder and closer. The ground then started shaking, and now the group were proper screaming. The sirens started mimicking the group's screams, and the user spotted a 
cabin in the distance and ran into it before Siren Head could get to her as well. When she finally opened the door the next morning, her friends were nowhere to be found. No one believed anything she said and she still hasn't gone back to those same woods since. I mean, who would? At number 8, we have the Pennsylvania happenings. Apparently, Siren Head has taken a major liking to the state of Pennsylvania since there have been numerous sightings of the creature there over the years. In 1984, a group of four teenagers decided to go camping in Allegheny National Park and all was well to begin with. But after spending four days camping, the parents of the group started freaking out since they should have been back by then. The parents reported them missing and a few days later, one of the teenagers in the group showed up at his house alone. He was visibly shaken and disoriented and when his family asked where everyone was, he said they were taken by something huge and lanky in the woods. No remains of the others were ever found. The second Pennsylvania incident took place in 1992, a full eight years after the first one. A drifter claimed he had seen some creature as tall as a telephone pole with speakers hanging off it near New Hope. He didn't go near the creature since he wasn't a dumbass, but he reported that it sang an old song. I wonder what that song was. Hopefully something nice, you know? Now, number six is Chad. Chad, Chad, Chad. You know, there are some novel male names that you just know are gonna cause you trouble, like they're the ones your parents warned you about. Chad is one of them. Chad is gonna lead you on for a month, sleep with you, and then ghost the shit out of you, but not before he tells his best friends Brad and Tyler, because otherwise the trifecta just wouldn't be complete. Chad's our trouble, you guys, and that was no different on July 16th, 1995. Chad and his friends went hiking in the woods of Tanya Creek in Arkansas and saw what they thought was Siren Head in the distance. We don't know what truly happened in the woods after that, but according to Chad, his friends were taken by some enormous beings striding through the trees. It was apparently copying their voices and luring them out one by one to either kidnap or kill them. Or, you know, Chad just let Siren Head have them as bait so he could escape himself, but I mean, who knows? He did sustain some injuries though, so maybe he was telling the truth or maybe he was just committed to making his story look real and inflicted them himself. Himself. We don't know. Do we trust Chad? Do we not trust Chad? I don't know. I don't trust Chad. Coming in at number five is the Park Ranger. Back in 1990, a park ranger at Kings Canyon National Park found a man clinging to a tree branch 20 feet off the ground. Despite trying to talk to him many times, the man did not respond to a single word that came out of the ranger's mouth. Confused but eager to help, the ranger radioed in for some help and went on his way. By the time rescue operations finally arrived at the scene, that man was dead and most of the tissue on his face, like his eyes and eardrums, had mysteriously ruptured. I mean, I don't want to state the obvious here, but I wonder which 40 foot tall creature is loud as hell and can rupture people's bodies. Ah, Siren Head. That's who. At number four is the jog. This one was submitted by an anonymous redditor who said she was going on her evening jog one day when she realized it was basically empty outside. Now usually there were some cars around or a few joggers here and there or at least someone walking their dog, but today there was no one. 15 minutes into her jog, she heard this piercing white noise sound that was physically hurting her brain. Unable to continue on with her jog, she decided to sit down on the trail she was on and wait till the sound stopped. But as you can probably guess, it did not. It got louder and the user couldn't take it anymore so she eventually passed out. When she woke up, she felt like she was being carried by something and she was damn right. She looked down to see herself 40 feet off the ground and she was like, what the hell is this? When she looked up, she saw Siren had taken her to what I'm guessing was its lair or house or cave or hellhole, I don't know, whatever it came from. But when the creature realized she was awake, it started blaring its siren again and she lost consciousness once again, only to wake up in the same place she passed out on on the trail. Now was it a dream? Was it real? Beats me! Filling on the three sod is the photo. Apparently someone managed to snap a picture of Siren Head on the streets of Indiana a few years ago, which is very odd considering it's usually only spotted in wooded areas where it can hide, I mean, somewhat. Not how camouflage it expects to be at 40 feet tall, but I mean, good effort, mate. Either way, after the picture was made public, locals in the area started hearing a strange siren sound and then slowly but surely, people started disappearing. I couldn't find any other information about the story, so I don't know any more details about how screwed up this is, unfortunately. Siren Head was probably pissed, like, you're not gonna let me take my game to the metropolitan level. I'ma just start snatching all of you off your damn streets. Nowhere is safe. 
Now at number two is the bike crew. This one was shared by Reddit user Eugen H, who said he lives in a rural part of Montana called Stevensville. In town, there was one man who alluded to everyone called Jamie Kelson, and he lived on the edge of town. The user was the town's paper boy, and at the end of his route that day, he was on his way to Jamie's house. He was going uphill on his bike when he started hearing the tornado siren. Now, initially, he didn't think anything of it, since tornadoes were quite common, but the siren was so alarming, and even more so considering the sky was clear. It didn't look like tornado weather, so he was like, what is this? Slowly but surely, the siren sound started getting closer to the user, and then the ground started shaking, throwing him off his bike. When he looked up, he saw this gigantic head cresting a hill 700 feet away. Slick and metallic, the creature had tubes and wires going through it that somehow looked like its veins. 40 feet tall, its arms were so long they reached the damn ground. It had no eyes, yet it was still looking in its direction somehow. Petrified at this point, he picked up the bike and rode for his life, eluding Siren Head once and for all. And finally, at number one are the voices. This one was shared by the same Reddit user, Eugen8, but this incident happened the next day at 1.30 a.m. The user Robert was awoken to the sound of a voice, not just any voice, but his best friend's voice. Now, that would be normal, but she had disappeared a year prior, so this was blowing his mind and tugging at his heartstrings. She kept saying, Robert, Robert, it's me, I'm back. He went outside towards the noise, but the louder it got, the more he wanted to find her. It was like she was saying it right in his ear. That's when Siren Head came out from the town hall. In his hand was the corpse of the town's mayor and at this point Robert started screaming for help and it started chasing him. He got to his house and his dad opened the door, rifle in hand. He shot it three times and kept shooting but the beast just was not going down. It started emitting white noise from its siren so loudly that it burst his dad's eardrums and they started bleeding. His neighbor started coming out and shooting the beast at this point and even started chasing it because obviously in America all your neighbors have guns right it is what it is Robert ended up dragging his dad back into the house but the neighbors that chased Siren had vanished into thin air and you can bet your all he never wrote to Jamie Kelson's house ever again. Starting off this countdown, we have the graffiti Siren Head. Siren Head's influence can be seen all over the world. He literally has a devoted fan base. There's people out there dedicated to proving his existence, which is kind of creepy. Well, in this photo, you can see Siren Head spray painted on a wall in some abandoned building. Now, if someone is out there spray painting him, that just proves how big his influence is. Now, what's creepy about this photo is the backstory. Apparently right after this photo was taken, this guy started to hear a faint echo in the building. He said, hello, who's there? And his voice just echoed right back to him. Creeped out, he decided to leave, but on his way out, he got a high-pitched ringing in his ears, as if someone was blasting some sort of a high-pitched frequency. He believes that he truly did encounter Siren Head. Maybe that graffiti was done to warn people that that building is Siren Head's lair. In our ninth spot, we have the Lakeside Siren Head. This photo of Siren Head was taken up in cottage country. In the photo, you can clearly see Siren Head on a cottage dock by the water. Maybe he just wanted to take a dip in the water, you know? Maybe a little late night skinny dip. Or maybe he was preparing to attack and kill the cottage goers. In the background of the photo, there appears to be a cell tower. Or maybe it's another siren head. Siren heads have been known to be able to shapeshift into telephone poles or street lights. Who's to say he can't transform to look like a cell tower too? In this case, this dude captured a photo of baby siren head and Mama Siren Head. I wouldn't mess with either of them. Coming in at number eight, we have the Lurking Siren Head. So this photo was posted on Reddit by the user MilkyBoy2006. He is truly convinced that Siren Head is real. No matter what people tell him, he is a true believer in Siren Head. And he claims that this photo he took proves his existence. So according to this user, he was out camping in Cumberland, BC when he noticed something off in the distance. He zoomed in with his camera and took a photo of it. He is convinced that he got photographic evidence of Siren Head. So if you look way in the distance, you can see the top of Siren Head's head lurking behind some trees. Now, one would assume that like, okay, maybe it's just part of a building or a windmill or something like that. But apparently the next day, that thing, whatever it was, 
was gone. And big structures like that don't just up and move overnight. Unless it was really Siren Head. In our seventh spot, we have the Siren Head Experience. Posted on Reddit by the user Isaiah Ninja 909YT, they shared the time they encountered Siren Head. So he starts off by explaining that he lives near the woods, aka Siren Head's favorite place to lurk. One day he heard tornado sirens going off, so he grabbed his dog and headed downstairs. But as he was gathering some supplies, he noticed something outside of his window. Now the sounds of the sirens were getting louder and louder, so he ignored it and just headed to his basement. That's when it got super messed up. He swears that he heard the voice of his dead friend calling for him, but he shook it off thinking that he was just panicking because of the tornado. He decided to check his phone and that's when he realized he wasn't even under tornado warning. So he went back upstairs and looked out that window, but whatever he saw was gone. He then put all the pieces together and realized that that tall dark thing he saw was probably Siren Head. Moving on at number 6 we have the weird sounds. So this was posted by the user JorjorBanks321 on Reddit, love that name. Their post was titled help me identify these weird sounds in the mountains. Story goes that he was hiking to Bighorn Mine one morning when he started to hear some weird noises. He took a video of the sounds for proof and uploaded it asking for help identifying the noises. Now I listened to this audio and it's quite strange. It sounds like high pitched squeaks coming from the distance, or he describes it as the sound of metal detector beeps. Someone commented saying that it may be from some kind of machinery, like someone was doing construction nearby. But the user said that it was coming from a ravine that was too steep to walk to, and it was covered all by tall bushes, so there's no way that someone was doing construction there. But it literally does sound like Siren Head blasting some sort of weird squeal to confuse its prey. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the sirens. One Reddit user created a post asking people in his area if they hear the sirens too, or if it's just all inside his head. So one day he was just chilling out when all of a sudden he started hearing weird sirens wailing in the background, followed by a ringing sound in his ears. Now the post does get a little weird because he says that he got into a car crash two years ago and ever since then everything's been off. Like he constantly hears these sirens and doesn't know why he's the only one that can hear them. Is it paranoia? Or is Siren Head really out there trying to get to him? Moving on at number 4 we have the babysitter. So one night this girl was called over to her neighbors house to babysit their young kids for the night. Now these kids were huge fans of Siren Head, so to appease them she played some Siren Head themed games with them. But as it started to get darker outside, the babysitter started to feel off. She just felt like something was watching her. She then put the kids to bed and went downstairs to watch TV. This literally sounds like a scene from a horror movie. Around 9 o'clock weird things started happening. First the TV started to go all staticky and lost its signal. Then she heard thudding and weird noises coming from outside the house. She described the sounds as muffled talking over a megaphone. So she's convinced that she somehow summoned Siren Head while playing those games. In our third spot, we have the foggy forest. Reddit user CDBlack123 posted this photo he caught of Siren Head 14 days ago. Now, this photo is pretty creepy, and Siren Head is pretty hard to spot. Take a second and look for him. Pause this video if you have to, and let me know in the comments below how long it took you to find him. I mean, it's not that hard. But still. All right, you see him yet? If you look on the left hand side of the photo, you can see the silhouette of Siren Head behind the trees. The fog does help camouflage him in better, but this photo shows you just how massive this creature is. In our second spot, we have the stormy night. This next story was posted on Reddit by the user Harry the Best 2. He labeled the post as I saw a siren head and I'm not joking. So if he's not joking, it has to be true, right? So one month ago on a stormy night, Harry was looking out his window watching the storm. That's when lightning illuminated something strange in the distance. He saw sirens, which he thought was odd because he has never seen them there before. Once he spotted them, the thunder got louder and he heard the sounds of the sirens. Every time the lightning struck, it looked as if the sirens were moving closer and closer to him. In the morning, the sirens were gone. 
So he's positive that what he saw was Siren Head. And in our number one spot, we have the Storm Monster. Now what's freaky is that the story that I just told you happened to another person in a different area. But this time, they actually caught it on tape. So again, about one month ago, Space Kitten underscore 420 on Reddit was watching a storm and spotted something that looked like sirens over her neighbor's house. You can see the neighbor's chimney, and then right above the chimney when the lightning strikes, you can see what appears to be sirens. It's actually a pretty creepy video, and it for sure looks like Siren Head. <laughs> <laughs> 